Keep turning something. I'm here, medics. There you guys. Twitch chat align properly. Sounds good, Medic. Sounds good. Well, I guess we can leave. Welcome, welcome. It's good to be back. Raven Rush, how are you? Thanks for the luck. Yesterday we uh, got a uh, 336 pace run, which is pretty pretty sick. Thanks again, I guess. Yo, Bombo, what's up? One attempt start. Please don't fail. Great. Yeah, still in TBS. Now we get caught by surprise, by the way. Um, my form in this game is like really good right now. I think I've got one last PB in me before going to TOA. Unless I get bored, obviously. Yeah, that one could have been something. That could have been a 337, 336 with the RNG. Alas, we got the actual worst RNG I could have imagined. Yeah, that's okay. I should reset. Yeah, you know, like I, I feel I, I don't feel good about the 338. Like there's still a lot of time save. Uh the 338 is obviously a very good time, don't get me wrong, but I I can go faster, I know I can. But yeah, yesterday we got good RNG at the beginning of the game, mediocre to bad RNG through the mid-game, and then we got blasted by Satoris Minati. We had excellent RNG in Tunnel Ruins and Venus Lighthouse though. We got a nice fat gold. We brought my son of best down to 327, which is pretty high. Still a bit of time save left in there. We've got like another minute sort of Satoros Minati Fusion Dragon that can be saved. And a bit here and there. It's not unreasonable to get a 325 son of best, I think. But a lot of things we need to get right for that to happen. I think my best source of time save is uh, old modern at the moment. Or hidden gold potential, I could say. 
and it's really really hard to get uh, gold splits there because my split goes from uh, defeat Kraken through to death warp into Tolbu. So it's it's unusually difficult. It's a very long split. It's unusually difficult to get a very good time there. Most people uh, split that into two segments, but I don't do that because um, I don't know why I don't do that. I should split it at some point, but there's no real good place to do it, unfortunately. Because if you do it on the uh, collection of the draft, it's not. Technically, it's it's not accurate because there's there's a lot of RNG that can impact you there. Okay, that's all going. Worry about that. Hey, Tomton, are you still there? Um, yeah, I know you've spoken a little bit about the Japanese restream. Um, do you know what, if there was, like, what the size of that restream was and what the community reaction was to it, if anything? It's like 16 seconds of time loss. We did nothing wrong. The ground ground. What's up, everyone? How are you doing? I'm just curious what the, the Japanese community thought. I, I have no understanding of the status of Dolphin Sun within the Japanese community. You have to write a script for video scripts. What? Why are you writing video scripts? Is this for um, Future Connected? Side note. I didn't enjoy Future Connected. Did not enjoy it. It's good to hear. It'd be nice if uh, Camelot took notice. The FC was was lazy, in my opinion. Nice, lots of Camelot next game. It, like, uh, unfortunately. My expectations of Future Connected is Twana. <laughs> I was like, this is half as good as Twana, this is going to be incredible. But it was, yeah, it was just like, something. It could have done a lot more with the lore, but whatever. It was fun to play as Melia for a bit though. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to play Melia through the whole damn thing. Play the game on hard mode. Yeah, it's like that was it. <laughs> and the knockoffs were just lazy clones, and that that annoyed me as well. Oh, <laughs> this this knockoffs like rain. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> It's just a clone! <laughs> oh, that's funny. I should play uh, Second Blade 1 again. That's fun. That's a great question. Uh, probably because there's a difference between carrying wheat and straw as there is carrying rocks. But I'll just go with uh, dev uh, road blocking decisions. I'm not going to run Cedar Blade games, man. I don't even understand how you run Cedar Blade, to be honest. 
I, I've seen the speed runs. I, I I'm like, wow, how how the hell do you even do that? Because to me, it's Xenoblade. To me, has always felt pretty stat checky. Like, if you have stats, you win. If you don't, you die. Um, I've complained about this before, but I, I mean, it's fine casually. It's like fine. I'll just go grind for a bit. Speed run, I don't understand. I don't do it. And I mean that with like the greatest level of compliment I can convey because it's very, very, very impressive. I have heard very good things about X, but I have been honored to get it. I don't care that much about the view account. It's just, um... I'm just curious about what the Japanese reception to the run was, mostly. If there's like a lot of viewers or something that may say, Oh yeah, actually Golden Sun was good. But it wasn't like really bad hours for Japan, so... Well, relatively bad hours, like 10 p.m. through 2 a.m.-ish. Nice. Debuffs, huh? Interesting. So who has debuffs? It's been too long since I looked into it. Yeah, I was gonna say Dumban. Feels like you should have defense down. Interesting. Yeah, I feel like Golden Sun's been dead long enough that people have forgiven Camelot for Dark Dawn and would uh, eagerly jump on a fourth game. I will pay more attention to that in the future. I may, um, may play through Z to play again. See how physical defense down works. Seven with a haste goes. Okay, seven. Yeah, did it. Oh! You're doing spoiler free. Oh, sure. It's like how in uh, Dragon Quest they call 8 8. Gotcha, gotcha. I understand now. <laughs> Yeah, that one just didn't didn't strike a chord, definitely. My current mindset for these runs is just, I feel like I can no reset to a very, very, very good time. So I feel like just flexing on people a little bit. Even, I, even if I get like another 339 or something, I'll be like, well, there's a no reset run. Can't be too sad. And everyone's like, what the fuck? Grinding for years trying to get the 33x. Do what? Oh, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, a 336 would be a bit of a flex. Nah, the prologue was terrible. I would normally reset, but. Whatever. Hey, FX, how you doing? I mean, that would be incredible, Thompson. Um, I personally would appreciate that. I know the off chance of it actually getting to them is hilariously low, but... You know, maybe it'll make someone stay. But yeah, I remember working on that 20 years ago. Nice to see that it raised a fair bit of cash. Oh yeah, remember when we made up G's? Oh yeah! <laughs> Let's see. That was actually a pretty good time to get that encounter. Yeah, and these slimes just ruined everything. That's fine. Actually decent. Not sub-17, but given that we started this so late, uh, it's actually decent. I got that encounter so late as well, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to get the encounter skip here as well. Yep, encounter skip. Nice. We take those. No, this is World Record. The World Record has a really, really bad beginning. The World Record was when I was doing uh, basically offline, no reset runs for TDK practice. And then Bluza was having uh, a rough day, and he was ending his stream, and I was like, you know what? Let's just put my stream live. So I put my stream live right at the end of the uh, veil, and the run was still garbage until um, until Satoros even, which is like a, a low 120. And then everything after that point was really, really, really good. And then the 338 happened. Was literally one pixel too high. It's annoying. Yeah, this stage was really dumb. Hey, Hotspot, how are you doing? You're not wrong. The word Rick was just all about who has good RNG. Ventus, what's up man? How you doing?
Yeah, dude. It's really nice to have Golden Summer TV. It's doing pretty well on YouTube as well. It's beating out things like Minecraft and stuff, which is nice. I doubt it, we were just talking about that, uh, Thompson was like, maybe I should send an email to Camelot about this, and I was like, that'd be a good idea, but uh, it's one of those things where it's unlikely to reach the people it needs to reach. Yo! Straight to the top, huh? Um, a lot of the world record stuff, the Sonic block, uh, is getting a lot of attention. Rightly so, mind you, because um, Sonic 06 and... No, it wasn't Sonic 06, it was Sonic Android or something got a world record, and Sonic Angel Island revisited. Hey, Shuri. Um, but it's doing well. It's doing well. Is it? Yo. Well, FF7 and SN64 happened, like, very, very recently. So they're, they're, uh, they're gaining viewers at a lot, of much faster rate. Yeah, I wonder if Gamelon was fantastic. Hey, we're trying. We're trying hard spot. One stream at a time. Yeah, after after my donation, after my the Golden Sun Ascent was submit, I was like, yeah, we, we need Bond of Gamelon. It's such a good run. Too bad Golden Sun can never be a bonus game or something like that. <laughs> yeah, Master Hammer. Don't know that's um... That's pretty hype.
Oh yeah, that was so nice. Like... Oh yeah, there's 700 runs, but of all of them, you should watch Golden Sun. That wasn't exactly what he said, but close enough. If the music wasn't this good, I wouldn't run this game so much. We've got plenty of time to listen to Elemental Stars and Sateros theme, Sateros Minati theme. It's so good. <laughs> okay, what's your preliminary battle strat for Kraken? Is it uh, weakened procs or do you have some other ungodly goodness for us? Oh yeah, you're skipping the cubit again. Yeah. Forgot about that. So we'll just so you'll actually just Skip all Jupiter Gen, that's kind of fun. I just don't know how you do Sardaros Minati Fusion Dragon quickly, but up to you. Seconds too much. Well, I mean, truth be told, if you are skipping the other Jupiter gym, yes, it is 12 seconds too much. The smog doesn't add anything to the run. Yeah, it is a data fever, it's one of the strongest plus attack gens of the game. But Okay. But how many more gem are you even getting? Vine probably, right?
so fine ground. Scorch, flash. Hail, I guess? Or do you, would you skip Scorch in favor of, like, Torch or something? I can't imagine that Scorch is a quick thing to collect. How do you beat Sardar's Smith and Fusion Dragon with that setup? I do not know. Oh, you do need Scorch, okay. Cool. For Colossal? Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. I mean, you could use Squall, but case in point, you don't need the, uh, I suddenly got really tired, which was strange, because it's only in the car. It's pretty interesting. imagine the insanity that is required to test that though. It's like what if a Jupiter summon would save a turn on the or something?
Yeah, pretty much the ground at that point. It's kind of over. Falling asleep, kind of. Yeah, pretty much sleep mashing. I feel like my eyes stuck for the last four minutes. Just opening it on the cave room. Just to feel a little bit more refreshed. This specific part of the tutorial is really dumb because only A presses clear the text. Only text in the whole game which can only be cleared by A press. Yeah, just in the middle one. So like, um, you have the first. Flint dives into the mini the first time, L and R work, Flint dives in the second time, only A works. And in the third one, it does work. Really dumb. Oh yeah, that's always a good, a good thing. <laughs> well, you won't buff a synergy, but you will buff a map. Now, if there was only a way to get from a map into something interesting, that could actually be fun. Yeah, that'd be pretty good.
Well, but you can do that when you jump onto the elevator at Mercury Lighthouse. You can pull up a save menu uh, as you jump onto the elevator using uh, the uh, same principle as Infinite Climb. But then when you load into the save file, it just automatically moves you to um, the elevator. Yeah, at the area, yeah. Yeah, the one that moves you downstairs, yeah. Misunderstanding, we're really misunderstanding. Yeah, the it doesn't move you anywhere, it just continues on with the elevator cutscene, basically. Basically, I have to catch this. Yo, who's this? You know. Thank you for the praise. You did you run it really well. I mean, it's like Rufus, but it's like Rufus. <laughs> so yesterday we got uh, four herbs. I don't remember the last time I got less than two herbs. <laughs> Rufus, nice. Glad you enjoyed the run. It was uh, really fun to do. But to do some pretty crazy stuff, and uh, we made raised a lot of money. Yo, get dunked on. What's up, man? Yeah, boys, come on, dude. I carried the run real hard. It's almost like he's a professional. Reminder that Blizzard claims to have a 48 bandit time. Ending at 48. Yona. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. I 
Nope, ending. He claims to have a 48 end bandit. So that's a really good fight, by the way, aside from the fact that I had to defend with Isaac because otherwise there was a chance that the bandit could have attacked into Isaac and killed him. Okay, Chen, what's up, what's up? Who's in Dazm? Yeah, these guys are nowhere near as bad as Briggs. Briggs, it's pretty damn awful. But I mean, 48 bandits is possible, you just need the god interior and then to have that RNG. Yeah, we do, Gossifer. The answer is it's almost always yes. The reason being is that the no animation is actually quite significantly longer. So even if yes incurs extra text boxes, it's usually faster to get the extra text box than to incur the no animation. There's one exception to that in Fret Tree, uh, in Kalina Forest in the very first cutscene. Other than that, it's just yes all the way, aside from the obvious ones, like uh, at Colosso. Which is kind of dumb, but it, it makes convenient gnashing. And uh, well, Brian Brian can't correct me, but I'm pretty sure having the happy face to every reaction on Darkborn is also fastest. Because Darkborn has instant text. Imagine saying yes at Colosso and getting the world record. I may have done that. The 339 even had that, which was kind of stupid. Never tested. I'm pretty. I, I'm pretty sure I tested like the first hour of the game, and then I was like, it's just. I'm just gonna say yes to everything. <laughs> but like instant text room is that relatively pointless? It's like. The only exception would be if you incur like extra text boxes, obviously. But, yeah. Oh, there's tons of wiggle room get dunked on. R reminder that I'm running against the world record right now, and I'm already almost a minute ahead. It just this is a a lot of RNG in this room. <laughs> Uh, text language does matter. Uh, Japanese is by far and away the fastest. And then I don't know about the other language, but like... We run on English for convention, not because of speed. We will, and whenever somebody wants to do a, a localized run, we will create a leaderboard for it. Yeah, it's like Pokemon. It's like, Japanese is faster, but um, we run English because it's just convention at this point. I, I like running on English as well. I think it's... I think it's... I think it's better. Yeah, you can get the Japanese world record. If you do it, I will make a leaderboard. I didn't even know there was a Swedish language version of Golden Sun. Alright, I should probably heal Isaac. That would probably be advisable. One encounter decay, that's really good. Oh, it's Swedish being wrong. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, there are, yes, you're, you're not wrong, FX. Um, but, like, given how accessible English is relative to Japanese, like, split leaderboards feels the best. Plus, there's different glitches and things you can do in each uh, game, so it's not a big deal. It's not like the runs are totally empty. I'm pretty sure there's only French, German, Italian, English, 
Japanese. All bosses? No, there is all bronze transfer. Actually, I do have one of the bosses. That is hundred percent. Okay, there, there's. Okay, yeah, let, me, let me explain it after I get this menu. Alright, so. 100% in Golden Sun is really stupid because we realized eventually that you can uh, that defeating an enemy unlocks them in the battle arena. So in theory, 100% should require you to defeat one copy of every enemy. Otherwise, your Colosseum is incomplete, which is really quite stupid. And so I did a run of that, which was basically um, every uh, one copy of every enemy in the game, and it was dumb. It took me like five hours and forty minutes. I tried to do it in TLA and I failed. I will try again. I can actually do it this time. I know what I did wrong. It's very silly. But you know, just to say that I've done it, I'm gonna do it. The zombies, they don't want to let me go. Um, but... But for, um, all bronze transferables, um, that basically means we need to... Uh, defeat Deadbeard. This is bad on Junior. At least I have PV plus enough. Uh, you need to do all of the, the things that you can transfer using a bronze password to the Lost Stage. Which is all of the Lost Stage events, all of the synergy, all of the gym. Which pretty much covers everything you wanted to uh, cover. This is not good. So all bronze transferables does, does, does defeat Deadbed. Finally, an encounter that would get me to level 3. I was getting very worried I was going to be doing a level 2 forge fight, which is just not pleasant. Um, reluctantly fine. That's incorrect anyway. All battle music is unlocked once you beat the game. Yep. So close. Pretty average, okay. Oh, the metal is jank as well, because you've got like flash and stuff to contend with. And ground and bullshit like that. Alright, we failed for 19%, that's nice. Well, if you have a um, Ivan with ground with the Elven shirt, and you know where their um, flash ground granator is, you can just ground them and then blow them up. So, There are people who do battles on the Golden Sun Discord, so you can check that out. There is a meta, I just forget what it is. That's the wrong button.
This is problematic. What do we do? Dry class is being overpowered would surprise me. I'm pretty sure it's just degenerate summon rushing. Uh, Mealus might be stronger in PvP if you did it properly. Both encounter skips, that's really good. Ninja Soul Blade, maybe. I mean, don't even get started on TLA. Like, you can do some degenerate shit, because. A lot of casual people don't realize that agility is the most important stat in the game. So they come in with like their fucking mithril gear ready to do soul blade unleash strats on you and they're like, well I'm faster than you, so I'm just gonna lull lock you. Thank you, have a nice day. Sage, what's Sage? Is that the is white is that the white mage class? I like the one with uh, Mercury Adept with uh, Jupiter oh no with with Venus and Venus and something. With Alvin shit? Yes, definitely. Uh, yes, yes, I think that would be pretty gross. Is white mage. I remember being Venus and Mercury. But if it's Venus and Mercury, it, it surely can't go on to like Piers or something. I don't know if it's. Probably uses one of the consoles as a RNG thing. And that's the one instance where Noah's faster. Fall back question that we had earlier. That very last yes no dialogue saves like 23 frames by saying no. Oh, it's 21 frames, I forget. Yeah. yeah, this is this is uncomfortable. That Goma Cave really just took all of my PP. You don't recover PP in this cave, by the way. 
which is why I'm still on one PP. That was still a free encounter uh, cave. Uh, down here, grab this herb just in case we need it. We shouldn't need it now, but just be just keeping keeping <laughs> just keeping it there just in case we actually need it. I think we're okay now. Uh, I should probably heal Ivan more. So Ivan can just get randomly destroyed because he's Ivan. We got all of the exterior encounter skips, that's kind of cool. That doesn't happen every day. We got RNG here too, that's nice. It does, just it doesn't restore in the basement of Kalima. The basement of Kalima is treated as a town, not a dungeon, despite the fact there are enemies there. And you don't recover PP in a town. Which is really annoying. That was not good RNG, but we got attacks first, so it's fine. Yo, Shonen. RNG hater, how are you guys? And Ionic Iris, hello, hello. Six. Okay, we're about 12 seconds behind the move on yesterday, so that's pretty good. So this one was not bad. But 9 PP, that's kind of scary. Oh my god, please, Chris Bumps. Yeah, everything's going good. This first encounter is always important. Should get Ivan to fall. Yep. That was Isaac. Um, not Ivan. Isaac's still at 4. He needs to get to 5, so... I'm not going to take that encounter. It takes too long for the experience I'm going to get. Normally I would take it, but... If it was... It's just not enough experience, basically. That is more than enough experience. How does Jin to obtain? Maybe Crystal? Crystal because there's like a timing minigame involved and it's kind of annoying. But I think thank you. Crystal is kind of the same, you have to go through the entire of Yumpy Desert Cave before you can get access to it. Go play this. Wait, I needed that herb, didn't I? I'm one herb short now, this is problematic. Um, fuck. Dodge. Yeah, all gen uses RNG in it. Unless it says no saving quit, it is. Damn it. Uh, unless it says no saving quit, it will be RNG in it. That wastes time. Even though that's only one text box instead of two, no animation takes forever. Oh uh, god, what do I do? How do I fix my hair problem? How do I fix my hair problem? I think we just YOLO. Petra? Um, yeah, Petra's in the middle of nowhere. Well, Jin no saving quit is not that interesting. Like, the whole point of the no saving quit thing is to make RNG minute not possible. And all Jin avoids getting dead, defeating Deadbeard, 
So you've kind of removed the whole point of the challenge. <laughs> right? Like running through Hammett and saving Hammett and getting Tonic and stuff, like that's... It's not difficult, it's just time consuming. Dead bad at least is a fight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be short one healing item. This is... I don't like this. I did it to myself, too. So yeah, that's why all bronze transferables exists, because then that actually completes the challenge, so to speak. Having to do Navampo without RNG Minip, um, dead dead without RNG Minip. I could get the Vile, but it's slow. I may just have to heal with Isaac. I can, but it's slow. Go fight trip for the potion. No, that is a five hit plan. Uh, uh, that right. No, no, at this point you commit to the YOLO LeGrange. I didn't recover my extra set of gym. That's not good. Just need to get a herb drop, right guys? Surely something in here drops a herb. Cool, got through the first screen, that's nice. Uh, this, this, this. I think that kills. Every time you jump, it um, adds four, it increments the PP slash gin recovery counter by 4 and you need to get 16 for it to refresh so yes, yes it does one encounter to sleep, okay nice, good RNG Although I'm probably underleveled, so I should probably attack Garrett. We're six 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 team. That's fine. I have to mint Ivan. There's no choice.
Hey, Apex, do you ever use the inventory sort option in the uh, chess? I feel like there must be some circumstance where, where doing that will lead to a uh, faster menu. So that's a no then. Yeah, you're not serving more than a couple frames, if at all. It's a thing. Yo, look at that best possible time. That is sexy. I just noticed that. Good place to start. Not. Nice. Uh, uh, uh. Very close. It's a good starter last time. Didn't even need Ramses. That's interesting. That uh, slash from the attack of crit and stuff must have really uh, added damage.
You'd think it'd be clever if all my attack aren't being seeds together, but they're all dispersed throughout my notes, which is kind of stupid. Ivan won't be level 8, he won't even be close to level 8, so I should just run away. Whoops. What's up, Bowie? It's a pretty decent Satoru's time, yeah? Not complaining? Yo, thanks to Alex, but... Oh my god. You should uh, catch the VOD Twilight Spark. You can go ATDQ. Um, there is a VOD. Why did I sit my gun? G here, yeah, this is nice. So much better than yesterday, geez. Yesterday we had like no success. Now this is bogus. No, that's a bad word now. Got us to that guy being a big hit. Who's the daily pog champ? Nice. Hog is not Twitch, but that's BTTD or um, Frankface. 
And I don't know how those applications will deal with the ever-changing pod camp. They're gonna remove it all? Okay. They should invest in an AI algorithm to detect where the mouth is in the daily pod camp emote and then uh, blow it up. As long as it's the good text ones, I guess. Agreed, or drunk. Agreed. That fucking guy is perfectly accessible. Sucks. I don't have level 8 on Ivan. So no, if I am not doing them. If I had level 8 on Ivan, I would be doing them. Uh, not from the position that I was in. I was, I was low, I was low experience going into the Soros fight, so it was probably going to take me to take encounters all the way through Emerald and the cave to get um, plasma, and it's just not worth it if you have to take like four fights to get plasma. You just deal with low experience later on. If it was like, if it's one encounter, I think it's worth it. Two is like pretty borderline. Certainly not four. It's just one of those things you just have to make a judgement call on the run depending on where you're, you're at. If you go into Satoros at level 7, you can probably push for Plasma relatively easily. Excuse me. Yeah, level 6, yeah. It was level 6. A oh, very, very late level 6 too. Uh, script. Yeah, level, uh, a very late level 6 to into Satoros. You have to do the Atlantis strat if you uh, don't have plasma, because that way Mia will get plasma, which is really good. Because then you can just um, raid plasma on the final turn and it's all good. Oh, 
Ooh, good fight. So plus gold. We had really good run RNG, so... I, I got like every flea except one in uh, the run back, which is insanely good. That's a pretty good trip time if I do say so myself. Have you had a 130 trip before, Bowie? Probably not. This would be up there as one of my best trip times ever, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, bandits. You mean, uh, 48 bandits, you mean. Yeah, the 58 bandits would be going for that, <laughs> that 140. <laughs> 31, that's pretty sick, that's pretty sick still. That's a very good time. Anything below, like, even a 32 trip is respectable in my eyes. We really should pay more attention to Trip more than Satoros, but Satoros is just, you know, carried by the theme. I mean, sorry, carried by the fight. I mean, fuck. I'm pretty sure my PB trip was uh, the 118.14 Sotoros, or 118.24 Sotoros, but I'll have to double check that. But then that run got blasted by Zephyr, so... You don't get excited about the run until you've cleared through or the dumb gym. Oh yeah, the 336 pace run yesterday? That had a two-minute troll on Vine as well, so I'm feeling pretty good about PBing. I feel like there's a PB around the corner. Just don't troll me and it's a... easy. This is a very good pace, yeah. I should deactivate Pog until I fix it. Where's damage? Damage is on, like, people. Uh, we can risk it. I'm only really worried about the moles. The moles are a higher level than everything else. <laughs> so I don't... everything else is fine, it's just the moles are scary. Ooh. Yo, didn't move. Well, I did move, but like, barely. I don't have level 11 on Mia. Well, I certainly don't have level 11 on Mia, which is just a little bit of a shame. One encounter in Mercury Lighthouse will do that to you. This one here is actually scary. Don't give me the bone fighter. I think, you know, that was even better. 
16, and then that's 3 of these guys. Alright, Ziff up here, bro. Yeah, it's a pretty big delay, dude. Um, but attacks first is always nice. Level 8 on Isaac. So a little bit behind the experience curve, but that's fine. Well, we had attacks first, so that's really nice. Um, now if we can just do the same thing on ports, we'll be uh, in a happy place. Yeah, you can spoil Bowie, give him updates from the future. Wait, there we go. Wait, yes, that. No, this is wrong. Oh my god. This is horrific. Um, Zephyr should be. Zephyr Breeze Gus, I was right. Yeah. Uh, no, I... Gross. We just wasted a ton of time through uh, unnecessary menus. I hate that menu. I hate it with that. I should reroute it just so I can annoy everybody. Dang. I thought Mia would go first. Oh, now she's level 11. Shit, I thought she was level 11. <laughs> That's fine. Oh shit! It's fine, we're living. We're living. Yeah, dude, if I didn't have that level, we'd be dead. Zero optional encounters, yes, we can be beaten with zero optional encounters. Ivan is now level 9, that is ridiculous. I'm really, really glad I didn't get to getting level 8. That would have been horrific. I think Dark Star Gazer means just not fighting additional encounters.
And we take, I mean, yeah, RNG Murph just makes it free, so I'm not even that worried. The only thing is you don't get Flash, which is annoying, but and then again, RNG Murph. Lots of encounters in the back half. Like after courts, I've gotten like five encounters, which sucks. It's okay. That's good, right? But I'm gonna get the encounter right before Killer Raid. Yay! Love it when this happens. Love that. Big fan. I'm worried about killing him, so I'm gonna use Tundra as the device. Douse is good. I like Douse. Grand sec, let's go. Oh, let's say beautiful. Uh, just uh, well, in this game, since we're us Manticore are on a cycle, in uh, Dark uh, the Lost Age, it's. Um, Doom Dragon first action and Doom Dragon first action and uh, Dullahan that are on patterns and and it's the A. Let me go. Damn it. My first significant time loss. Oh yeah, Poseidon's first action as well. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Didn't get to the full menu this time. Flip at least, and that helps. Love that setup, by the way. That setup is so good. It doesn't really make up for it, but it's nice to have. I don't want to take any 8 fights um, until it's the end. Oh god. Yikes, that was sketch. Nope, they don't use patterns that often, um, but it's a really good mechanic. I think um, it, it guarantees the consistency of getting fucked over by Doom Dragon, basically. <laughs> like, everybody has the experience of being gin stormed into something bad happening. And that experience is ubiquitous across the fandom because it's on a pattern, and, and unless you are like an absolute god, 
Um, you are taking more than a full cycle. Uh, I don't want to fight this either. I guess I'm just not taking fights then, okay. Yeah, it, like... It's challenging, but fair as well, because you're not going to get piled on with Gin Storm, right? You have eight turns between Gin Storms, which is really nice. It's enough for your Gin to recover, and then you can get back whacked with it again. So, like, it's... It's exploitable for a speedrun, which is great for us, but it also makes the casual experience incredibly satisfying. I love it a lot. I think it's very, very, very good game design. And things like the Satoros pattern allow us to do, like, Mila Satoros, which is, like, incredibly impressive. It's just all around a fantastic thing. Agreed. Oh, it did? Experience is that, and I forgot to split. Yes, I did. Looks like we lost about 20 seconds, though, which is fine given that I got pretty bad RNG. How do I play this now? I, I don't know. With 600 experience, it's like encounters through 2D living statue. Uh, attacks first. Oh, I can't give up an attacks first. Can't do it. Can't do it, guys. Yeah, I don't like this. But I do need to make sure I get sleep before Kraken. <laughs> and I'm a little bit worried that I'm not gonna get there. Go to field Garrett. Uh, hindsight 2020. It's fine. Oh my god. Uh, it's, it's pretty tight with the stress that I want to use. Water Blessing, don't focus, Garrett. Good. I'm gonna be about 300 experience below where I usually am at this point. Um, which should still be fine. Yo, that slime has an elemental attack. The fuck? Mm. 
Why do slimes have elemental attacks? Hey, Saki, how you doing? And they're mercury aligned attacks as well. That's really strange. <laughs> yeah, I do stream in the morning. But... Oh well. See, anytime I can stream, so we take it. No, frost, please. 4 a.m. Yo. Oh yeah, Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. Okay, we're fine. Uh, uh, good. We're, we were losing about 20 seconds on the uh, living statue split, so I think we're going to go about even across the split. It's quite nice. Yeah, about even. That's good, even hanging with PV at this point is really nice. There's a ton of time save in the back half of the run if we can get lucky. So just being on pace is, is really good. But the run doesn't really... you don't get excited about runs until you beat Kraken. Until Kraken is just a, a pipe dream. Yeah, 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 you know the deal. I mean, is just scary all the way through, you know? Yeah, dude. Attack cancelled? Fuck. GG. These cutscenes take so much longer than you don't have Agit to read the donations.
Oh yeah? And why is it weird anyway? I see what you mean. I don't need to clear the reveal. I just cleared the reveal for uh, GDQ. Plus, it's cool to see Isaac pop out. That must be memory, I guess. Really don't want to see Ivan die here. Good. Um, guys. Is this the run? Is this the run? Is this the run? First ever sub 2 Manticore. Let's fucking go. Woo! That is a fast time. Come on! Fuck's sake. Well, we achieved something, so that's all that matters. So the step's not guaranteed. You have to like one frame. Still don't have sleep, by the way. 
Also, don't have Elvis shirt on, Gar on Ivan, which is problematic, but that's fine. Uh, sucks, dude. Still don't have level 12 on Ivan. Uh, this is, this is interesting now. Believe in the heart of the sleep bombs. I I'm actually considering getting two sleep bombs. Uh, one would hope so. Anyway. I can't believe Bowie has disappeared, I'm so sad. Go away with your testing ethics. This 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 chat here don't look too kindly on them RNG minute thingies. Them tool assistant thingies. Yeah, no, we'll get it. Yeah, we can't predict where everything's gonna go. We have to to improvise, adapt, overcome. This run is still good pace though, we should not be too disheartened by the fact that Vine trolls us for a while. Imagine legalizing Turbo so that we can get guaranteed Vine. Imagine. Um, I mean, let's not even get into turbo, <laughs> like, I understand it's a touchy subject. There's a lot of bad opinions flying around, but... I think it's too early to form an opinion, I think we need to... We need to understand how bad it is. Um, Loser's gonna be doing some turbo stuff.
By FX, that's not really the point, though. That's not really the point. <laughs> There he is! Welcome back, Bowie. We got trolled by Vine, but... The first, uh... First sub two Manticore, my friend. Finally. Long overdue. We... Yeah. And then we promptly got like five encounters before Vine, which was fantastic. Do I think I'll get sleep before Kraken? I hope so. Otherwise, this is going to get really awkward really quickly. I have two sleep bombs, so that's a plus, I think. Yesterday I did Kraken without granite, too. That was fun. I mean, who needs granite if you just get to sleep first try? Actually, no, we, we, we have like stun lock. Ah, uh, sheer luck anyway. Sheer luck. We are very lucky. Basically, what happened was. Oh, I had I had it on standby instead of instead of set, so we just defended with Isaac and hoped that it worked. Then we got the sleep proc with, uh, and we got the stun proc. Sorry, with Garrett. No, we got we got the sleep proc from Ivan. That was fine. And then we stunned with Garrett, uh, which was act which actually became relevant because I did the strat incorrectly on the second turn. I used uh, Heat Wave before Media, so Kraken didn't die in three turns. But it was okay because the stun lasted an extra turn, which is pure again pure RNG, and um, we made it. Emergency Rainbow Kills? No, they don't even do that much stuff. I actually looked into this. Like, oh yeah, what, what would it do to, to Rainbow Kill Killer Ape or Manticore or Kraken? And they add like one encounter of experience, which is not really worth it. Does that mean we will finally see any way of return to the speedrun stage?
Nice. Well, we've been staying in a few months for a few years now, but that's okay. Maybe by then the route will be finished. sleep. Sleep on the second to last encounter in the boat. My god, that is cutting it close. Ooh, man, that was scary. One way or another, we have the, uh, this really good magical time that we can upload. So it's nice to be able to upload something. I haven't uploaded something in a while. Yeah, we didn't even comment on the fact that we're summoning crap inside the boat because we had um, we had the donations going the whole time. That's fine. Let's see if we can win. Yeah, I'll get carried there on there. Love Arge. Oh god. That's good anyway. Alright. We have granite this time, so we're coming in a little bit safer. Let's, let's uh, sleep this motherfucker. As we say.
Easy. All right, cool. Smug. And yes, we're behind, but it's the fucking fine mumbo jumbo that caused it. We won't be much behind with this Pokemon. Yo, Melissa, what's up? Thank you for the luck. Yeah, the Kraken went well, so that's nice. Thank you. Three, three, two pace coming at a Kraken. It's pretty nice. You're also on a ship, nice. Check out that manticore time though. Yeah, that's that is something to behold. That's the first ever sub 2, by the way. So, in the words of the Smash community, we take those. Not by surprise. Hmm. Jesus, what happened? We got trolled by Vine. I mean, that's what usually happens when we're cracking split, right? No, it wasn't Happy Squid, it was Vine. It's always Vine. So I don't- everybody else splits at Vine, and I don't. Um, so yeah. Squid was actually- he went down very, very easily, which is good. Level 13, that is problematic. I need to be level 14. Yeah, I have start on X actually. I have uh, start on X and select on uh, R for the button. Uh, let's use judgment. So this run we will not be doing with Nia Strats because, because we got troll or we had uh, level 6 items so we don't have the minute. So I must do the thing. Right. 
right, Desolate. Yeah, that works. Probably heal Ivan. Just this proportion. A little bit worried about him. Just, you know, you get caught by surprise and then a rogue attack runs, runs into Ivan and then he dies. Which would just be unfortunate. Okay, that works. And that's, I guess, problematic for, for Isaac, but whatever. I'll take a free encounter. We'll say it was an attack first. Yeah, that sucks. I'm not gonna lie, that sucks. Um, now what do I do? Oh, I've got no healing. Alright, I have to go into the final fight thinking, if I die, I'm not getting World Record anyway. So... We just have to play assuming that we're... We're not gonna die. And there's no alternative. Oh, that sucks, dude. It really sucks. Uh, this fight's really good with Mia, because you target the... the uh, the golem, and then the Dreadhound just dies. That's level 15 on Mia. Isaac 14 can't be too far behind. Two runs in a row, two really bad combinations. <coughs> That's okay. Better than last run. Last run had blue to red. So you have to run all the way to the left and all the way to the right. So. Let's 
such a strange split. Seven quit. Fuck. Hello, Dragon Art. How you doing? I think one more encounter and Isaac should get to level 14. That is not judgment. Take damage. And I guess that helps. Okay. Right on cue, Isaac is 14. We don't need to take any more encounters now. However, we will have to run back into Tolby, which is not good. This position this is terrible. So I have a decision to make. I didn't get an encounter through the rest of this room, so I'm likely to get an encounter really quickly as soon as I end the sequence of cutscenes. Do I play assuming I'm going to get a like golden dreadhound combination that will destroy me really quickly? Or do I play assuming I'm going to get a single mole and just do the run back? I don't know. I think... I think I'm going to do run back. And I really need to go to the bathroom and stop thinking. Maybe I can do that during Colossal. Which would be really sketchy, because I've never done it during Colossal before. Not in a long time. He's usually on boat. <sighs> okay. to basically trip bathroom strats. Um, so as soon as I initiate the Colossal sequence, I'm gonna mute and then uh, yeah. And see how we go. This one bit though. This is very scary for lots of reasons. I think I want to run back. The reason why I want to run back is that run back is going to take me right next to the item store and I can buy a water of life. I really want one water of life. Oh, no, do I do that? Oh no. <laughs> I think I YOLO. Oh, what do I do, guys? Do I YOLO or do I be safe? I 
think I I have to go. Uh, I have to do it. Decent. Just run away from this. This is gonna take forever because they're not doing anything. I'm mean, that's something at least. That's good. Okay, never mind. Back ahead? What? Okay. I'm gonna mute.
Alright, come back. I see a lot of conversation while I was not too much yet. I think that's fine. That is less... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, so yeah, what, what has been discussed? Uh, I think I have to risk this. And uh, defend it. Cool. Quake Sphere saves 12 frames over Ragnarok, by the way. But it costs 15 PP, so you don't want to use it unless you do need to use like unless you're sure you're winning the fight we got one nut that's fine one nut and a defense could be worse Yep, I run TLA as well. Certainly do. And hey Hilda, how you doing? If this is world record, I promise you I will do a TLA run after this. If it's not, I may be sad. How's that sound to reveal? I know, dude, my fucking 353. It's impossible to beat, dude. Maybe save one, two seconds maximum. Uh, some categories do passwords, some categories don't. Uh, the most mainline categories don't allow passwords, so. If you allow gold passwords, though, things get very, very silly. Yeah, I saved and I quit, so it was invalid, otherwise it would have been world record, what a shame. <laughs> Almost got the big sword. Uh, at level 14, you can take a defend. Uh, if, if the vampire attacks, and you can just defend. Sorry, yeah. Also, losing time is not. PB had perfect, uh, perfect Colossal, basically. Excuse me, Devampa, Can you hurry up and get here? Still ahead. That would be impossible. That strat there would be impossible if you use the power bird or if you're level 15. So, yeah, interpret that as you will. Well, uh, that is actually a PB Colosso, though. This is the fastest I've ever beaten Colosso. Uh, yes. If, if, Nutrage didn't defend the first Ragnarok, it would have been a kill. So it was very close. Maybe like 30 HP or something. But yeah, so it's, this run has had the world record Manticore and world record Colossa. So that's kind of cool.
Now we just need the hard part of the game to go well, which is hard. Hence why it's the hard part of the game. I'm actually feeling... Oh, so, so the thing is about skipping encounters is that it's really good. <laughs> like, I want to skip as many as possible. But this run doesn't need to skip the encounters. Um, it does need to get some good RNG at some point. Um, but it doesn't need consistently good... Not like yesterday. Yesterday needed consistently good RNG. And hello, A. Or A. I hope we can see TLA at a marathon. Yeah, where's Arkik? Arkik, take it away, bro. But yeah, I'd love to see TLA at a marathon. That's probably a much harder sell, because it's a six hour commitment and not a four hour commitment. But... I promise I'll only ever submit it once. <laughs> I guess I could do gold password no save and quit and we can meme because we'll get the world record because I'll never do runs of it. <laughs> gold password uh, TLA would be kind of stupid by the way. Gold password I can get done in like three minutes that wouldn't be a problem. Once you once you grind the password a couple times it'd be easy. Yeah, but Golden Sun is not Final Fantasy, so we don't get that kind of periphery for treatment. But if I got a gold password, I could just, uh... What would I do? Probably Griffin is probably the best strategy. Excalibur Griffin. Or just, no, I don't know what the best strategy would be. Fish for Legend procs, maybe? I don't know, there, there will be ways to kill Doom Dragon quickly. Uh, I mean, if I really wanted to save time, what I would do is I'd be like, oh yeah, we'll do the name cutoff for, for that beforehand, and then just input password. What do you mean by bronze password sent? I mean the category wrong password percent. As in get the 100% or the thing that allows you 100% to alone? I'm confused. <laughs> oh, I don't know. No one cares about that category anymore. It's a dumb category. Once we understood all gen and any percent a lot better. It just became a worse category than both. Because you, you skip Bane, because Bane is obviously skipped. You skip Tonic, because Tonic is obviously skipped. Then you skip Luff, I think, because Luff takes the longest to get. Or maybe you skip Squall, I don't know, you skip one of those, it doesn't really matter. And then you skip Torch. Oh, there's actually some interesting routing you could do. You can do... You would do Vault before Calais. Oh, sorry, you'd, you'd, you'd go to Calais, you'd trigger the boat sequence, then you'd go to Vault, you'd get set, return to Calais, then sequence, 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 get Kite, Death Warp into Tolby, and then you'd never have to do the, the return trip. So that's kind of nice, I guess. That's kind of cool. I like that. But that's probably the only selling point of the category, to be honest. Well, by the way, um, this is a pretty, pretty hype run. So this is the bit where the run lives or dies. Um, 
We're basically at the point of the run where we need to skip as many encounters as possible and or get very good encounter RNG. Um, ideally both, but I'm a simple man. Just give me something to work with and I'll be fine. Uh, it's better than no password. That was a really bad idea. I forgot I didn't have any water of lives until I fled. Fuck! Yeah, it has the same amount of gym. Well, any percent no seven quick does. I'm so mad, man. Fucking hell. I should have just gone through to Suhala. Fuck me, why did I go back to Toby? Thing, I think. I need to stop. I need to stop Toto. Even though I've lost like a minute because I've been stupid, um, it's okay. I'm gonna just use Dallas this time. It's okay. Yeah, this is totally redeemable, but that's unfortunate. Not having any water of lives is really terrible. Did you see how I had to use in my water of lives going? Caught by surprise, double dreadhound. And they killed Ivan as well, so there was no way for me to kill the Dreadhounds on the turn. And then everybody except Mia died, so I had to use all three to keep them going. And we still saved time over PD. Finally, that is not judgment. Okay, this could be interesting.
it's a focus. Star is a chin in the <laughs> Right, we kind of skipped, that's good. Time is still ridiculous. Despite my glaring stupidity. Oh well. I'm pretty sure I'll pull off those cars. I could be done. Alright, that's good. Uh, that sucks, but at least both encounters are very good. They weren't as nearly as horrific as they could have been. Uh, so there's an ability that's fine. That's still the wrong ability, but that's also fine. Frost is ever so slightly faster than Daos. That's fine. It's uh, actually a very, very good signal. It only be like 30 seconds behind. Yeah, monotyping would not be good for this strategy, um, for fairly obvious reasons, the gen would not recover quick enough. We had a really good desert, but I was stupid, so... Blue path? Nope. Uh, PB is still possible, obviously, but... We now need to get good RNG. Yeah, in this dungeon, in this dungeon only, the spamming reveal suppresses encounters. You don't get any encounter right, which is why we can get through this dungeon without taking an encounter, which is kind of nice. Alright, do we get this in here, Skip? 
you can do that. But that's fine, it's three seconds, I don't care about that. <laughs> I would prefer to lose 3 seconds than to lose 15 or 20 or have somebody die and have to go revive. So 3 seconds is nothing. Chicken out, guys. I got a water of life. Yeah, I did. I won't even need it. That's why I got it. If I get the water of life, I don't need it. If I do get the water of life, if I don't get the water of life, sorry, I will need it. So I'm reverse jinxing myself for later on. Can kind of at least. appreciate it. I was having a good day until I was an idiot and wasted a minute to revive Ivan. Um, other than that, this run is going pretty well. We can save like 30 seconds if we get this encounter skip here, it could be nice. And then it's we're only 20 seconds behind with like three minutes to save over the last two splits, basically. Three splits, I should say. So PB is very, very much in play. But we just need good RNG. Is that too much to ask for? Alright, see you, bud. Thank you. Ali Kermidia. Ellie Crombie. Sorry, I thought, said, I thought I said Mobile. God, I'm blind. Ellie Crombie. There's actually a very good chance I'm gonna get an encounter, which would be very, very unfortunate. Total loss. What's up, man? How you doing? By the way, my best split here had an attacks first. <laughs> it had one encounter. It skipped the encounter after, I think, after the Venus Lighthouse. And it got attacks first in Tunnel Ruins. So I'm never beating that split. It's very, very good. However, my PB got two encounters in Tunnel Ruins, which like very, very rarely happens. But it happened. All right, we got the encounter skip, so that's really good. As long as I don't get the encounter in this room, we're okay. Attack first, though. Never mind. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting.
really. Um, so now I don't know. There's a chance I can get an encounter skip here then, so this could be cool. This is, um, this is making my brain work. <laughs> 13, so there's a chance that I can use, uh, Dust and Frost with Isaac, which is fine. One more room. If we get this encounter skip, we could even be a hit. That would be something. Not gonna be a hit, but we will be close. If we get the encounter skill. Oh, we got it. Holy shit, get out of the room, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Fuck! Runs on, runs on! Alert, alert, tweet, do everything you need to do, the run is on. We can still get destroyed by Sato Osmanati Fusion Dragon, but this is um, very good. This is very, 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 very good, and I'm going to focus 100% on the run, so apologies in advance. Uh, you do, you do, uh, what am I doing? Richmond. Nice damn it. Okay, I need to focus. Because we have a very, very, very good run on our hands. Even though this encounter was early, I think this is still fine. We got an attacks first. Anytime you get an attacks first in Venus 2, you're just a happy person.
This is, uh... Damn it. I wasn't pressured until I got the attacks first, so now I feel pressured. Which only means that, um... What does it mean? It means that I'm more likely to make flaws, which sucks, but that's okay. I, I do do this all the time, Bowie, but this is, um, not usually good. Uh, no, uh, this is... No, come on! Unicorn ring, Hog Chan. This puzzle wrong, but that's fine. I spaced out for a moment because I got really concerned about my gin recovery, um, but that's okay. Maybe we lose a second, who cares? So probably two encounters from here, one encounter for excellent RNG, but probably two. And I'm probably getting the second encounter in an awkward position. Which is annoying. We already had one attack first, we're not going to be greedy, you know. But I, I appreciate the sentiment, because that would be lovely. And having already got one, I feel, uh... We need to stress about it. Encounter in this room? Good RNG. Okay, maybe we only get one more encounter. Fantastic encounter. Could not have asked for anything better. Gold split. 30 seconds. Fuck me. Fuck me sideways. That was an insane Venus too. was disgusting. That was the gold for the Tunnel Ruin split. That's the Inter Venus 2 split. That one won't be beaten. This, this split I always knew was goldable, so I wasn't particularly worried about that. Uh, I still have to do the menu though. Uh, it's okay. 
Gaia Blade's already on Felix, so that's good. Um, Trickle Quartz is already on Mia. So I just have to do ground with flint. Alright, well, don't get excited. Oh, or get very excited. Up to, up to your choice, basically. This is gonna be the, uh, an, a ridiculous run, one way or another. Is that correct? Get that fixed. I don't want you fear. Did that look okay? Uh, I'm gonna take. This is. That was a late split too. Thank you, Bowie. He just wrote in the run. Thank you very much. When Minati death sizes Mia, this comment right here did it. That one. There, officer, sir. Arrest him, please. This is good pace pump up, that's what it is. Just, ugh, don't get me turned one resist, for the love of god. Run! You're getting turn one resisted! Oh, that's... that makes me happy. Finally! Jesus Christ. Although I should have just wished, because now Ivan can die from the heat flash. Fuck me. If Ivan dies here, I apologize. Oh, I should have... I should have grounded in Satoros, actually. I did that at GDQ, I could have done it here, fuck me, don't use heat flash. Anything but heat flash? Great, perfect. Uh, we can do that. that. Yes. Ivan's in danger again. Uh, we go with it. Fuck it.
come on. Don't flop the minions. Oh, uh, why am I attacking the Illuminati? That could actually make a difference. Um, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Now you beat Flash Ivan. Okay, that's fine. If I even dice here, this is fine. I can play around it. I prefer he doesn't die, but it could happen. Dead break is perfect. Flash ball probably kills. Don't mind. French will kill. Yeah, yeah. We we've got the summon turn open, which is excellent. We have Smog on Isaac, which is the secret backup strat. Provided Mia has Hail Prism, otherwise we could be in a really bad place. Uh, there's a minute time save on on PB. Side. No helpers and that could be problematic. I can't do my back strat. Attack attack is great, but now Ivan can die. Take that.
take that. <laughs> Perfect. This is it. Summon. Can't lose. the run. Holy fuck! That's the category. Fucking hell. Fuck me. Holy shit. God, I can't even process right now. I I am lost for words. This is like Oh my fucking god. This is this is one of the best reports we have in the community, I think. <laughs> I I don't know how you beat this. I don't know how you beat this. <laughs> that 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 you can look at the things. You can look at all the ways I lost time in this run. But that was a world record Venus 2, and that's why this is a minus 2.26. That is the reason this PB is. Um, you need, like, the most unfathomably godlike run going into Venus 2, and then have an average Venus 2 to even compete. Like, holy fuck. I was, I, I always knew if I got a good Venus 2, we'd be able to get a good time. Um, but to have Venus 2 go well, and to not get trolled by SMFD, oh, not all that. I just, I can't even, I, I just can't even right now. Yeah, like, you're, you're looking at some new strats to beat this time. But I, I got to use most of the strats in this run anyway. Um, just holy shit. I mean, we got fucked by Vine, yeah. Vine fucked us around for ages, yeah, you're right. But I mean, that happens in this category, things go wrong. Um, 
I, I think you'd take that level of vine troll if you got sub seven Venus twos every day. But Jesus, yeah, I, I owe a TLA run. This one, this is ridiculous. Holy shit! First run of the day, yeah. No reset first run of the day too. I got, um, I got the. This is the quad by surprise seed going in the intro. <laughs> you can say you were here. Yes, this is this is it. Bros pass with this team into TLA. <laughs> I didn't create an RNG before the run. I think Bowie must have blessed this run. Or well, Future blessed this run last stream. Future was like, I'm gonna give you my Venus 2 RNG, and then I got a 7 minute Venus 2, and then I did an even better split this time around. Thank you, Future X. I graciously accept your Venus 2 RNG. I now bequeath this RNG to Bowie, because the man deserves his 3-3-X. Bowie, you are now blessed. You have the good Venus 2 RNG. Oh yeah, dude, so soon after my birthday too, that's kind of nice. Thank you, Bowie. Appreciate that. This is uh, fantastic timing. I'm glad I stuck with this. I'm glad I did. I felt good running this category. I was like, you know what? I think I got another PB left in me. Then we can do TLA. So now we're moving to TLA. I did tell you that TLA, that, that 335 is possible. Oh shit, that's a split. Uh, that is a late split, that's probably a 36. Definitely a 36. Definitely a 36. Ah ha ha ha! Oh, I did it. Fuck yes. Probably time I update that Twitch. You know what's really funny, Yamo? My my <laughs> my bio is a three a five three I think oh no it's not a five zero I don't remember fuck it I don't care oh dude can't believe it I absolutely can't believe it Like, that is a run at my potential, and it feels so good to get a run at your potential, like... Like, yeah, dumb shit happens. Dumb shit always happens. Look at my old gen record, it's got a, some dumb shit that happens in... Um, the Road to Barbie Lighthouse, but like... This is... this is amazing. Uh, you can tweet it, Bowie, I don't care. I'm not gonna tweet this for like 8 hours, so go nuts. Oh, 
man, what a run. What a run. So, pretty nothing beginning. Um, like, that is pretty ordinary. Like, Lee Vale below 41.40 is good, but, like, not great. We, we've had, all had runs that have left at 41.20 and stuff like that. Uh, Bandits was perfect, I think. So, perfect Bandits. So, that set the run up good. And then we held. Like, the, the, the run was pretty good. Um, nothing disastrous was happening. We got a one encounter Mercury Lighthouse, which was really nice. Um, Trek was really good, so that, that says to me that the, um, the Flea Strat really was a good idea. However, it did mean that I was low on experience for literally the rest of the run, which was really scary. Uh, Killer Rape went really well. Um, Living Statue, I uh, we lost time because we got trolls in Overworld, but that's fine. Uh, that time loss is only because of Living Statue, so... The actual alternate itself went fine. Manticore was really good. Um, first ever sub two Manticore. That's that's something to get excited about. Vine trolled us. That's that split. Uh, Walk of Shame. We got caught by surprise. Double Dreadhound into almost party wiped. Um, so that kind of messed me up for the rest of the run. Um, Colossal. We got a little bit of nuts. Uh, that is Ivan dying and me making the wrong decision, but that's okay, we take that, we take that. Yeah, the actual split itself, once I got through the dumb mistake, was very, very, very good. Uh, we got a lot of encounter skips, and, um, we didn't get the one in Suhala Gate, but it was a one summon encounter, so it was fine. Uh, Intervenus 2 was really good, we got, we got attacks first in Tunnel Ruins, and we got the encounter skip in Bobby Lighthouse, which was really nice. Uh, World Record Venus 2, enough said. Uh, Sardar and were behaved, they weren't perfect, but they behaved. Uh, Fusion Dragon wasn't perfect, but it behaved enough. And yeah, that's the run. No save data. I think I should have done it in Suhala, yeah, Yamo. But that's fine. 326, holy oh, shit. That is fast. That is really fast. Uh, intro forty one thirty eight. 